Introduction to Supply Chain, Transportation, presented by Dr. Stephen Herod, University of Dayton, 2012. Welcome. In this presentation, I will introduce and define the concept of a supply chain. I will demonstrate this concept by discussing a common convenience beverage, pineapple juice. I will then summarize the major modes of transportation and explain how the cost and schedule performance of these transportation modes influences their choice within the supply chain. A supply chain is a complex network. We are faced with the problem of diagnosing supply chains when we attempt to manage the flow of products or services beyond our own location or level of operations. A supply chain is characterized by multiple levels and multiple agents. Its complexity multiplies with distance from our level of operations. Variance of processes and links is a significant factor in the design of supply chains. A supply chain may grow exponentially as its scope of supervision is increased. Suppose, for example, we limit ourselves to a simple example where there are only two alternatives at, at each level of the supply chain. For example, our product has two component pieces purchased from outside, and each of these components has two possible suppliers, and suppose that some suppliers are capable of supplying more than one component. This forms a web of interconnecting paths of purchasing, inventory, and transportation. Likewise, a network of delivery and marketing exists on the sales side of our product. For example, let us consider bottled pineapple juice. This simple product can have a surprising complexity in its supply chain. Once, about seven years ago, I visited Hawaii. Many of you may know Hawaii is known for sugarcane, surfing, hula dancing, and of course, pineapple. So imagine my surprise when I purchased a bottle of pineapple juice at the hotel and stopped to read the label. Apparently, this pineapple juice had originated in the Philippines as juice concentrate. It then was shipped to Los Angeles, where it was bottled. Then it was shipped westward again to Hawaii, where it was distributed and sold to me. This is the complexity of the modern supply chain. A simple product, seemingly native to Hawaii, is in fact sourced from thousands of miles away and travels towards Hawaii twice on its journey to sale. The pineapple juice is in fact a supply network. The juice concentrate originates from multiple growing plantations, each of which is associated with multiple juicing and bulk consolidating plants. The plastic bottle is one of multiple potential retail styles, each of which may be available from multiple manufacturers. The paper label on the bottle must be customized for different regions and regulatory requirements, and it of course may be sourced from multiple printers. And finally, the juice may be sold through multiple independent retailers. A major consideration in the design and management of the supply chain is transportation. Transportation cost and service punctuality vary significantly from one mode to another, and thus the availability and choice of transportation and the design of the supply chain are intimately related. Transportation may be categorized into four fundamental modes air, road, sea, and rail. Air transportation is very expensive. It is typically limited to high-value cargoes that are lightweight. Air transportation is characterized by very fast speeds, high fuel consumption, which is why it is so expensive. Air transportation is also not point-to-point, -point, which means that another vehicle Usually a truck is necessary to pick up and deliver the freight. Road transportation is the most common mode of transportation by count of individual shipments. It is less expensive than air, but it is not the cheapest transportation mode. It is characterized by medium, average highway speeds, moderate but still significant fuel consumption, and is definitely a point-to-point -point delivery mode. Transportation by ship or by river barge is the least expensive of all transportation modes. However, transportation by water is very slow, typically 10 to 15 miles per hour. On the positive side, 
water transportation requires very little fuel. It can occasionally be point to point, but usually requires connections with other transportation modes. Finally, rail transportation offers a significant compromise between road and sea. In North America, rail moves more than 40% of the total freight volume by weight and distance. Rail transportation offers medium speed, comparable to trucks. It has low fuel consumption, much lower than trucks, but not as low as ships. Rail is still frequently point to point, but intermodal rail freight allows a combination of rail, truck, and ship to serve those customers not located on railway tracks. Choice of transportation mode concerns many factors the cost of the movement, the speed of delivery, and whether or not the transportation mode is suitable for the volume of freight. However, the greatest factor from a supply chain perspective is the reliability of the mode. That is, how much variance is there in the delivery schedule? Generally, larger freight shipments tend to be less predictable and vice versa. Low cost transportation also typically implies less predictable, more variable delivery schedules. Transportation choice is fundamentally related to inventory. Inventory is a buffer, a cushion to variable, unpredictable transportation. However, inventory is also a cost that increases with higher inventory stocks. Thus, the supply chain is composed of two significant costs, transportation and inventory and these two expenses are frequently in conflict with each other. In summary, the supply chain is a network. This network contains many links, each of which ultimately represents a transportation choice. Efficiency in the supply chain requires careful selection of transportation to match volumes and minimize cost, while at the same time taking into consideration the secondary effect of transportation choice on inventory management. Thank you for joining me in this presentation of Introduction to Supply Chain, Transportation.